And one of the altar Rebbe, this is a sayings from the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, one of the altar Rebbe's great and very close Hasidim had Yechidas, a private audience with the altar Rebbe. The altar Rebbe is the first Rebbe of Chabad. He's the one that wrote the Tanya and, and this book that we're learning from in the morning, Lakuti Torah. One of his great and very close Hasidim, he had a private audience. And the Rebbe asked, how was your situation? How was money? How was this? So he said, well, the fact is, is I used to be rich, but my financial situation had totally deteriorated. So the Rebbe, is, I haven't got any money, I haven't got anything. So the Rebbe said, listen, the reason you're here in this world is to illuminate your surrounding with Torah and the serving of God. You do what you're supposed to do. Stop thinking about the money. You do what you're supposed to do. Spread out Judaism. And God, you do, God has to provide for you those things. If God, we say in, in our prayers after eating, we say, Zonum of Farnish to call, that God provides food for everybody. So you do what you're supposed to do. God wants us to be his partners. You do what you're supposed to do, and God will do what he's supposed to do. God has to provide for you, but you have to spread Judaism. You spread Judaism, God will provide you with a livelihood. That's what the Alter Rebbe said. Okay, th this happens in, in miraculous ways, ways which are not understandable, but I just want to repeat something that I said. I have a fairly large library of books right here. See the books I've got. That's just a, a very small, but I've got a, a lot of books, see, on uh, in um, in the other room. I have books also. So, and then I have books, almost all the books that I have I bought, the Rebbe said you should buy books. The Rebbe said you should buy books. You should have a big library. And like from all these books that I have, I've, I've read not all of them, certainly not, but I've, I've read, you know, I've used all of them, all the books that I've read. But I still have a lot of books. Where I get all these books from, all the books I have, almost, I bought when I was living in B'nai Brak. When I was living in B'nai Brak, I made... Uh, like, you know, let's, how, how much it was, like, you know, two, three, maybe maybe $400 a month. $400 a month, I mean. And my wife, she would give lectures once in a while, right? So but with that money, we paid for rent. We didn't, we didn't have else yet. Paid rent, paid for food. And also, I bought all these books. I bought, there was a bookstore, I bought all these books. I mean, I spent a lot of money on the books. And it, we didn't feel, you know, poverty. We always said, how did, that, how did it happen? You know, my parents, they didn't help, help us. And her, my wife's parents, they didn't have anything, you know, and they didn't know. And then how did it work? I don't know how it worked, but it just did. It just worked out. It just amazingly works out. It's the same thing now with all these classes that I'm giving now. I don't get paid anything for the, you know, for the classes. And we had the yeshiva, it moved over, I for like, I don't know, seven years, something like that. I didn't get paid anything. I just did it, you know, because I couldn't couldn't close the yeshiva down and there was always pupils. How did I, it, 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 it worked out. How did it work out? I got a job over here playing guitar. I got a job over here speaking. I got a job over there. This, but in other words, you do what you're supposed to do and God does what he's supposed to do. God does what he's supposed to do. And it works out. It works out amazingly. Amazing. Doesn't make any sense. But uh, life doesn't make any sense, and God doesn't make any sense, but God is good, and life is good. Okay, let's have the story. We've got the story. One moment. 